Welcome to Conestoga Conversations Indigenous Edition. In this series, every conversation with student recruiters will be exploring the programs, pathways and clusters at Conestoga College. From a one year college certificate to a four years honors degree, Conestoga has multiple pathways to help you reach your goals. In today's conversation, we're going to be talking about the Health Sciences clustered programs at our Kitchener Dune campus. Some of you may be wondering, what does a student recruiter do? We are specialists in helping future or, or prospective students by providing reliable information about programs and services, answering any Conestoga related questions on a one-to-one -one basis and within group settings, leading you on virtual tours, and once we're back to normal, touring through our eight campus locations. Conestoga student recruiters work with Indigenous students, students interested in degrees, trades and apprenticeships, and the general population. My name is Roxanne Chuana. I'm the Indigenous Recruiter at Conestoga College, and I'm from Okomakong, unceded territory on beautiful Mantulan Island. And my name is Alicia Rivard, and I work with the general population at Conestoga College with a background in career development. We will be talking today about our health sciences cluster programs at the Kitchener Dune campus. In our School of Health and Life Sciences, there are different types and lengths of programs ranging from one to four years. Quick note before we start, the Pre-Health Sciences Certificate, both the certificates and diplomas, and the degrees and advanced diploma streams will help prepare for college life and workload. Successful completion of the program will add additional mark towards your grades, which can assist students by gaining admission into some of our more competitive programs. For most two-year programs, you'll need your Pre-Health Sciences Certificates and diplomas. For respiratory therapy and paramedic, you'll need to take the pre-health sciences, degrees and advanced diplomas. A few examples and types of programs in our health sciences cluster include a one-year college certificate, like our pre-health sciences, two-year diploma programs. We have six in this area, such as our hearing and instrument specialists, three-year advanced diplomas, like our respiratory therapy, and four years honors degree with mandatory co-ops. The Hearing Instrument Specialist Program is a two-year diploma program that focuses on hearing tests, hearing aids, and has a 14-week field placement to get the hands-on experience. I have a lot of experience going to hearing instrument specialists as I couldn't hear when I was little. With the help from individuals in this area, I was able to be diagnosed and can now hear better than most people. Graduates of the program will have demonstrated the necessary patient focused skills to manage the needs of the hard of hearing. Some subject areas students in this program will get exposure to are acoustics, hearing aids, audiometry, which is known as hearing tests, and clinical practices. After successful completion of the program, graduates are eligible to write national and provincial examinations and to complete a thousand hours of supervised internships through the Association of Hearing Instrument Practitioners. In the OTA PTA program, students learn the knowledge, skills, and attitudes necessary to perform the role as occupational therapist assistant and physiotherapist assistant. OTA PTAs provide treatment and help improve physical function or provide rehabilitative services to improve a client's quality of life and ability to perform daily function. This program uses diverse learning opportunities such as small group case-based learning, simulation exercises, applied learning projects, and e-learning, and has over 500 hours in community in field placements and labs. Theory and hands-on practical skills are gained in living lab settings on campus. Field placements occur at local hospitals, long-term ter care facilities, private clinics, and specialty rehab clinics and services, and often lead to employment upon graduation. Graduate opportunities include long-term care facilities, private practice, healthcare clinics, general hospitals, rehabilitation centers, sports and recreation centers. The paramedic program is designed to provide students with the knowledge and skills to practice emergency pre-hospital medical and trauma care and to function as a member of the healthcare team in assisting victims of injury or illness. 
To enter into the program, students need to have a proper admissions and will have to complete a digital portfolio that will give the students the opportunity to present non-academic information, such as leadership courses, volunteer experiences, and traumatic experiences that are relevant to the success of them in the paramedic program. The program provides a rich learning environment that util utilizes classroom education, simulations, and clinical exposure to prepare students with the knowledge, skills, attitudes, and critical thinking for proficiency within the critical care and community care environments. Clinical work integrated learning at a hospital and field site with an ambulance service allows students the opportunity to assess emergency patient needs based on factors such as condition, severity, age, stress, and anxiety. Paramedics must have the ability to work and practice sound decision making within stressful environments and function as a leader in often chaotic situations. The fitness and health promotion program is designed to train and prepare individuals as qualified fitness and health promotion practitioners working within the fitness, health promotion and lifestyle industry. Students receive instruction in areas of autonomy and physiology, fitness assessment and exercise prescription, health promotion, lifestyle coaching and behavior modification, nutrition, therapeutic exercise, program planning, marketing, leadership, entrepreneurship, motivation, and interpersonal skills. The performance lab located in the rec center has areas to, to practice skills with other students in the program, such as personal training, group fitness classes, and proper execution of exercises. Students gain valuable experience during field experiences and on campus internship. During their internship, trainers and trainees meet weekly in our rec center. I worked with a student trainer last year and found the experience beneficial. Beginning with a complete fitness assessment, we then met weekly to provide personalized routines, nutrition suggestions, and tips for maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Group Graduate opportunities include fitness and health practitioners, personal trainers, group fitness instructors, lifestyle coaching, and health promotion in public health, Canadian Cancer Society, and Health and Stroke Foundation. The Nutrition and Food Service Management Program emphasizes the evidence-based nutritional care of people from all ages and stages of life, providing instruction in community and clinical nutrition management, as well as in the marketing promotion of nutritious living. Students will further receive instruction in food service and human resource management, highlighting innovation in menu development, customer service, and product selection. Financial management of food services, food safety, food sciences, Professional practice and quality management will be integrated throughout the program to best prepare students for the food and nutrition workplace. Instruction will include integrated online, classroom and simulation opportunities and case studies to provide students with the opportunity to practice their practical skills prior to entering into the workforce. Additionally, students will participate in 240 hour field placement in food and nutrition management in the final semester of the program to consolidate their learning. Career opportunities exist in managing food and nutrition departments in hospitals, long-term care homes, retirement homes, correctional facilities, educational institutions, and much more. Respiratory therapists specialize in the identification and treatment of various cardiopulmonary disorders and are an essential part of the interprofessional healthcare team. This three-year program is designed to satisfy the educational requirements for registration as a registered respiratory therapist. It will prepare students with the knowledge, skills, attitudes, and critical thinking ability for proficiency within both the critical care and community care environments. This program has a diverse learning environment with classroom education, laboratory sessions, clinically immersive simu stim simulations, e-learning, and 1,200 hours of field placements. Field placements take place at our healthcare partner sites throughout Southern Ontario. Graduate opportunities include working in hospital settings and community care areas. You may work in critical and emergency care, like airway management, life support management, high risk births, and code blue teams, or in home care, such as clinics, education, research, 
or medical sales and support. Let's talk about program requirements that may be asked of you within the health sciences clusters. For some of the programs, you will need to produce a video submission. Some suggestions to use within the video includes volunteer leadership experiences and activities, relevant certifications, and awards relevant to field of practice. For the video submission, applicants should display integrity, reliability, maturity, self-direction, determination, excellent communication, and interpersonal skills, poise, and leadership attributes. Video submission details should be given when invited to the next steps of the admission process. The program requirements may include showing a relevant or recent TB test, clear police check, standard force aid and CPR, physical fitness and lifting requirements will also be evaluated. Some medical requirements must be met and maintained throughout the program and include completion of health reviews, immunization schedules, chest x-rays, and other medical requirements. It is also recommended that biology be completed within five years prior to starting any of the programs. Also, a Class F license will be required for students prior to the start of the second year of the paramedic program. If you'd like to hear more about Conestoga's Health Science Clustered Programs, please connect with us. Set up a Zoom conversation, text ourselves, or shoot us an email, whatever is your preferred method of communication. Until next time, Bama P.